Now, what does that have to do with Ezekiel 36 to 39? And are Russia and Iran part of this? Well, let's go there to Ezekiel 38 uh, and look at verse 1. Uh, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, by the way, who's the me? It's Ezekiel. There, Babylon came, and in 605, they took Daniel out of Jerusalem. In 597, they took Ezekiel. And in 586, they wiped out the place and decimated it and, and uh, uh, tr moved around the people. But so Ezekiel is writing in sometime around the 6th century B.C., only reason I told you that is to give you a little number. Hesiod, who was 200 years before Ezekiel, said that the Magogians were the Scythians. Herodotus, who is 100 years after Ezekiel, said that the Scythians were the Magogites. Philo, Josephus, in fact, there's references to the, the wall of China, and they called it in ancient literature the ramparts of Gog and Magog. In other words, that Gog and Magog were coming toward them and they built a wall to stop them at the ramparts. They stopped them outside the walls. So whoever is outside of China is, is this Magog people. And by the way, the, the killer is if you go to the Kremlin today, I wouldn't suggest it. Today is not a happy day for us to go there because uh, they're not happy with us. Uh, but if you did, the first building inside the Kremlin is the Russian kind of Smithsonian. And the Smithsonian has all kinds of uh, all kinds of exhibits about the Scythians. Now let me just show you this real quick because we have one minute till we're late. If you were a Roman in the first century right here, this would be the whole world, the red. This is the Roman Empire. And so they didn't think much about it. But if you were in the east, if you're a Chinese person, you knew where Scythia was because you had built your wall to keep them out. The Scythians were basically in this area north and east of the Caspian and Black Sea. By the way, there's the problem point of the world right now. That's the Crimea. Uh, there was a war in the 1850s over that too, you know. It's just old stuff. But, but uh, so the Chinese would have known who the Scythians were. Basically, this is the Persian and, and, uh, and uh, Greek Empire, and they don't mention them that much. But Boy, the Russians do. These are the camps of where the Scythians were. They were nomadic people in the, what are called the steppes of Russia. See the Caspian, Black Sea, there's the Crimea again. They were fierce, horseback riding warriors that chopped people's heads off, cracked their skulls, and drank their blood from their skull as their cup. I mean, they were bad guys, in other words. Uh, they were very accomplished, and they conquered all the way down to right there. That's Israel, and there's a city there called Scythopolis. That's his, the city of the Scythian, Scythians right there. That's how far down they came, and then they were pushed back. So, I mean, the Russians know exactly who they are. Now let's go back at this to answer the questions. Does Ezekiel 38 and 39, Magog invasion, does that happen before the tribulation? That's one view. Or does it happen near the end of the tribulation, some people equate it as equivalent to the Battle of Armageddon, but that's a real problem because the Battle of Armageddon, well, you can read it. It's different. A lot of points are different. Here's the main crux. Is this seven years in the future, or could it happen any moment? I think that's what the person was asking. Basically, uh, if you know Joel Rosenberg, he would be more here. Uh, the, the view at the end would be more of MacArthur and Dallas and others. But all of them say, really, the Bible doesn't tell us. And uh, basically, what's amazing is if you look at the lineup, the countries mentioned are Persia, that's modern-day Iran, Kush, Put. In fact, let's just look at these on, on a map here. Uh, here's Put, Algeria and Libya. You talk about, there's Kush. Sudan and Ethiopia. What happened last week, if you're reading the news? A boat was going from Iran to Sudan filled with missiles, long-range missiles, to fire on Israel from the Gaza Strip, and it was going to dock uh, down in, in uh, Sudan, down below Somalia here, and they were going to smuggle them up into f hitting poor little Israel, which is right there with that blue dot. And here's Gomer, Turkey, on and off. Here's Persia, no question. All of these in this final 
event are going to unite with, interesting, Meshach and Tubal, which is the old northern nemesis, Togarma, which is probably the stands, the Muslim old Soviet breakaways, who join with Persia and come down uh, with Turkey and up from below come all the others. Uh, and uh, they all come down, and there's poor little Israel right there. And so basically that's why they asked the question, and I would say I don't know. <laughs> so, okay. Okay. 